Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Class and I'm your principal and I am so excited that we are returning to school here. I have asked some of my friends to help us create a video for you so that you know what to do on the first day of school. I'd like to introduce my friends. Hi, I'm Mr. Fogel. I'm the Dean of Students here at Fairless Middle School. I'm here to keep you safe in class and on task. And if you see me wandering the hallways, just know that you can ask me anything that I can do to help you make it through the day. Hi, I'm Mrs. Fraze. I'm the school counselor here at Fairless Middle School. I'm going to be working on schedules and hopefully helping you guys out to have a good school year. Um, so you can come see me if you have any issues or concerns. I'll help you out. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Mrs. Knopf. I teach sixth grade writing. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Hall. I teach seventh grade math. I hope you have a great year. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Whitty. You'll see my beautiful face every morning when your uh, parents drop you off. And I am the eighth grade social studies teacher. Hope we have a great year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Johnston. I'm intervention grades six through eight. Have a great year. Okay, if you get dropped off from the bus, Shut down. Shut down. you will get dropped off in this roundabout in front of the main doors of the school. You will be let off the bus one bus at a time. Make sure that you have your mask on as soon as you leave the bus because you will not be able to come into the school without a mask. If you're arriving by parent pickup, please pull all the way up to the library coming down this main entrance right here. Uh, you will get out at the library to facilitate the flow of traffic and we'll be walking down to Good morning, Missy. How are you doing today? Good. How about you, Mr. Good. Can you make sure you got your mask on appropriately? Sure. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Go down to door four. That's how it works. Hi. Welcome to your first day at the middle school. If you need to eat breakfast, you're going to go that way to the cafeteria. If you have already eaten breakfast at home, you are going to head this way to your first period class. On the first day of school only, for sixth graders, you will be going to either the cafeteria for breakfast or the gym. When the bell rings, all students, all sixth grade students, will move to the gym, where we will welcome you and give you further direction on where your first period classrooms are. All students will be carrying their backpacks throughout the day. So if we're going to breakfast, we're going to have our backpack and come this way. As you can see, we have directions and X's on the floor to help you social distance and go in the right direction. When you come into the cafeteria, you can sit at a table that has no more than three students, skipping every other chair. From here, the cafeteria workers will help you get your breakfast. All right, boys and girls, uh, for lunches, we are going to split the classes into A group and B group. While group A will be
be in the cafeteria having lunch. Group B will be in their Falcon Time classroom. And after 24 minutes, we will flip-flop the groups. Group B will then go to lunch while Group A goes to their Falcon Time. All right, boys and girls, so you've seen the cafeteria. Now we are going to go down to our specials classes. We will go across the cafeteria, and bands will be located on your right-hand side. It's the very first classroom door. Choir will continue down the hallway. It is the second class room door. Sixth graders, you will have band or choir second period. And finally, any student that has phys ed always enters the farthest set of doors closest to the drinking fountains that will, will be turned off. So here's your doors. Boys and girls, the drinking fountains will be turned off during the day. However, outside of the cafeteria and outside of the art room, we have refilling stations for your water bottles. And now we're going to head to the main office. The main office is located just inside the main doors. As you enter the main And our office will be in the first door on the right. As we enter the office, you can see we have our counter. And Mrs. Jennings, hard at work making sure the building does not explode. If you're in need of the clinic, the clinic is located inside our main office. We also have a student phone in case you need to make a phone call home. Coming back this hallway, we have Mrs. Class's office here. We have Mrs. Fraze's office. And we have my office. Okay, and next we're going to look at some other offices. Um, if you follow me um, right here, this is the office of our pathway counselor, and it's in the eighth grade hallway here at the end. Next, we're going to go to Sue Burge's office. She is our family support specialist, and her office is right here. Her job is like Mrs. Greenfelder's at the elementary school. If you continue down this hallway, we're going to go to the media center. This office is Amanda Moore's office. She works for Pathway, and it is also the home of our clothing closet. Then down here is our media center. This is our media center, and the room I just skipped, um, this is our tutor lab. So this is our media center. Okay, and next we're going to travel this way down the hallway past the media center and we're going to head to art class. Students, you're going to have art with Mrs. Parrish. Art is a nine weeks course, meaning you will have art for an entire grading period. Come on in. As you can see, this room is filled with art, art supplies, lots of space. I think you're going to enjoy coming up to the middle school and having art with Mrs. Parrish. Now, let's take a look at our restrooms. One of the rules that we're going to put in place 
for the beginning of the year is this. And students, you're gonna to have to be very, very, very aware that we're doing this for safety and cleanliness. We are not going to allow restroom breaks during class transitions. We're gonna ask that you go into the classrooms, ask your teachers and make certain that they are aware of you coming to the restrooms. So while we're transitioning to and from our classes, no restroom breaks. like when you enter a classroom you will um, enter one at a time and use the hand sanitizer each time you come into the classroom as you can see all of our desks are spaced uh, properly apart and at the end of every class uh, all of the desks and the chairs will be sanitized um, in addition to anything else that was used during the class you will also be provided with mechanical pencils this year, so the use of the pencil sharpener will be um, limited. Okay, so we've already visited two of your rotation classes with art and phys ed, and now we're gonna walk down the hallway towards the seventh grade hallway to visit your other two, uh, Google Camp and STEM. We'll come on down this way. If you happen to not be in band or choir, you will be going to Mrs. Hyman's class in here called Healthy Living. Once you make the turn here, you'll be entering the seventh grade hallway. And down here is where you will find your STEM and your Google Camp class. Second door on the left here, coming down this hallway will be your STEM class, which will be taught by Mr. Renko. And you'll have this for nine weeks. From what I hear, this is a pretty fun class, hands-on, get to do some great things. And then right next door here will be Mrs. Wall's class, which will be your Google Camp. And this, will, this is where you'll learn all the great stuff about Google. Okay, so now we'd like to show you where your sixth grade teacher's rooms will be located. We're gonna start over here with Mrs. Ma. Hi, boys and girls. I'm room 125. I'm in the corner writing. Right next to me is room 127, Mrs. Limo Santos, who will be teaching social studies. Okay, and this room is the science lab, and Mr. Shook will be the science teacher this year. And we're gonna take a walk down here. And this is Mr. Urbis's classroom, and he is the sixth grade math teacher. Over here, is Mrs. Hyman's Healthy Living. And then just across the hallway, we have Mrs. Fritz's reading classroom. Hi guys, I'm Miss Tressel. I'm sixth grade intervention, and I'm new to the school too, so we're gonna learn together. And at the end of the day, when we dismiss, we're going to dismiss you by your classes. So we'll call for all the math classes to dismiss, all of the writing classes to dismiss, something along those lines. 
Students, if you are going to be picked up by your parents or by a family member or a friend, you are going to exit door number four, which is down at the end of this hallway, where we can see Mr. Winnie and Mrs. Knopf waving. If you are riding a bus, students, you are going to go down the main hallway to the main doors, where you see Mrs. Class and Mrs. Johnston waving. Okay, for students that are going to be picked up by a family member or a friend, you are going to exit door number four, which is right here. We ask that you socially distance. And walk along the sidewalk. When you get to this point, we have some rules. Find a staff member and they will direct you to walk to where Mrs. Class and Mrs. Knopf are waving at us right now. We also ask that you absolutely under no circumstances run in between the cars. If a parent is parked in a spot and they are waiting for you, we ask that your parent walk to you to collect you and then with that parent you can walk to that car all right everybody for those of you that are going to ride a bus home what you're going to do is you're going to exit the main doors and you're going to find a staff member who will direct you to where to stand remember keep your distance from one another and keep your belongings with you at all times Sixth graders, I hope that you enjoyed your tour of your first day at school. We're so excited to have you here. And please know that you are not alone in this. We are available from the time you get off the bus, the, the time you get on the bus with your bus driver, as well as when you get out of your parents' car. We are here for you. Please don't hesitate to ask questions. And good luck on your first day. For our returning students, welcome. And again, don't hesitate to ask questions about new procedures and the way we're doing things because of the restrictions put in place. And everybody, don't forget to make certain that you have your face coverings and that you wear them properly.